Hey guys, what's going on? This is Badfish here with another episode of Gone Gaming. And of course, we are back in the beautiful city of San Pedro. So welcome back to those of you who have seen my videos before. To those of you who are new to the channel, uh, first of all, my name's Badfish, and this is, again, like I said, the city of San Pedro. It's my realistic, West Coast-inspired, American City Skylines playthrough. Um, so, you know, stick around, see if, see if you like what we do here, but if you like seeing city skylines and detailed builds and things like that, definitely check out my channel, consider subscribing. So today, what we're doing is, you might notice I'm doing a little bit of road work, adding in some extra highways and some bigger roads. Um, I'm starting to do kind of the base plan out of where I want my downtown roads. So the big cities, we're starting to finally build them, guys. We made it. We're here. We're doing it. Uh, but I am liable to skip off to some small towns and little projects at any point. So, you know, take that for what it is. So we're just going to kind of get the base layout of the roads going, uh, start making some cool designs, and then we are going to jump into making like a public transport hub and a little neighborhood close to this stadium that we built last time. I want to do that just because our public transport is hurting right now. We don't really have much. Uh, I am going to start building a highway exit here in just a second. We're going to skip through that real quick. So there's going to be a little jump cut in three, two, one, and boom little jump cut there for you guys. Uh, that's just because what I built was just not worth it. It was not worth the time to watch. It was not worth, uh, you know, making you guys see it because it's going to be gone. It was ugly. It was bad spaghetti, bad spaghetti. So we're going to go through and fix that later. You'll get a, a glimpse of it throughout the build here, though, I'm sure. So I am just going to put some more roads down uh, towards this kind of downtown area. I just wanted to kind of, the way I like to do my big cities is I like to get the major roads set up first. Um, and then typically I start building landmarks. So that's like why I built that stadium. I got a couple more ideas for landmarks that I want to put in this big city that we're building now. So those will probably be our next few projects. And then from there kind of flesh out the residential and commercial and stuff. But we are, if you look at the demand thing on screen, uh, we are hurting for residential. We need people to move in. So I am going to kind of build a little neighborhood adjacent to the public transport stuff that we're doing today. So with the train line and the bus lines there, I did want to have just at least a little neighborhood, a little detailed neighborhood around it. So it looks a little more alive than just having, you know, these public transports things in the middle of nowhere. And I think it ends up looking pretty good. So this bus stop asset, I have actually had that forever. Uh, I've had that since I basically, you know, probably three or four years. I love this bus stop. I've, you know, used it when I had my crappy little laptop that could barely run the game. Uh, so it's nice to see it, you know, working well and uh, on the new computer and stuff. But I'm just making a little slip lane going into where the bus station is going to be. It, uh, you know, has these translucent panels that look really nice. And towards the end, we are going to be replacing the train line as well, or at least the train station. Um, the reason I haven't done that yet in the beginning is because my assets that I had downloaded off the workshop were not working. Uh, so I had to go out and get some different assets. Um, that's going to be the same thing with some of the buses I placed down. I had some bus assets. I don't know what happened to them, but I needed to get new ones for props. So towards the end, we definitely add a little more detail in uh, the last little bit that we do. Um, but I did just want to have like a big parking lot right in front of the bus station. So my idea is that these three parking lots, these kind of smaller ones are for the day to day traffic. So people who are going there in the morning to commute to wherever around San Pedro for work. And then I am going to make a bigger parking lot later. Uh, and that parking lot is my idea, at least that's for long term parking for people who are going someplace and need their car to stay here for a while. Um, and you did just see me do a little work on the roads with traffic manager. I'm basically just disallowing all traffic except for the buses themselves. Uh, that way these don't get crowded and our buses can move pretty freely because, you know, there's enough traffic with the buses as is if you just leave it on vanilla and let it do whatever. Uh, I definitely will probably play with the sliders so there's not 30 buses on one line. Um, and you saw me put down some warehouses. Those are going to kind of be like the maintenance bays for the buses. I am going to make like a, a bus yard in a second, a parking yard for them. Um, and then just adding these little planters and trees just to add some green. 
you know, I know this is gonna be kind of like our midtown downtown, so I am using high density stuff and wall to wall stuff, but I did still wanna leave room for, you know, some greenery, some, some little flavor, you know, just to pop it in there and uh, kind of break up the monotony of all the concrete and all of the, you know, single tile buildings. Um, but once it's all put together, I think it actually the neighborhood ends up looking pretty beautiful. I, I like looking at it when I was uh, shooting the cinematics and shooting the time lapses and stuff for this. Um, I really enjoyed, you know, just looking at the city itself. I think it looked really good. Um, and I'm glad I went with the more, you know, midtown kind of not high rise, not low density, but mid rise kind of um, look to it. So just building out that little bit of residential and stuff just to get some people in here and then just adding a little bit of detail with like some green space and some planters. I love my planters, you guys know that. Uh, just to make it look a little little neater right inside uh, where everybody's gonna be going for the buses. And then just planters and stuff like that. We'll put some bushes on them. Just trying to keep things nice and landscaped. The uh, City Council of San Pedro really enjoys having some cool landscaping. They're all about the, the bushes and the shrubs. Not so much about public transport, considering this is like the first public transport lines they're putting in, but they do love them some bushes. So, you know, we all got our flaws. Theirs just happens to be pretty major. And then, um, again, just building out with this like wall-to-wall uh, -wall corner store kind of stuff trying to leave some space in between it for like little back alleys and stuff I think that's important you know you don't want it to all just be like surrounded so there's no way to get into the middle of the buildings other than going through the buildings so I did put in like some alleys and stuff like that that you'll see me leave um, and I'll paint those in and add some more stuff to them later on just to make them look a little more unique and interesting and then I did add um, and this is gonna probably be a prevalent theme throughout the downtown of this city is these little planters and these small gum trees. I just think it looks nice. I think, again, it breaks up the monotony of just like the road itself and having those little planters and stuff. Um, it just makes it look more detailed too. Cause I mean, if you think about walking through a city that you've been around, I mean, there's gonna be little planters with trees kind of lining the sidewalk. Um, and now just adding in, scuffing it all up, I say this probably in every episode, but I hate the look of pristine concrete. I hate having that big gray blob. So I have a lot of decals that I use just to scuff it up, make it look a little more used and worn and torn. And uh, every time I do it, I think it looks great. And then I end up deleting half the decals while I'm putting in other props because I always forget to do the decals last because you can't move anything on top of decals. So I end up having to redo it and it ends up looking better. So, you know, life's happy little accidents. They work out. Um, and like I said, just putting in those planters, I did add that big planter with all those tulips because maybe that store, you know, they grow tulips to add a little little bit of light to the, to the road and uh, get people to come into the shop. Who knows? And then just again, fixing out some roads. I tried to do like different shapes. Um, obviously, where this is like a West Coast American inspired city, you're going to have a lot of grids. But I didn't want it just to be a straight grid. I wanted to play around with it a little bit. And I think, um, you know, what we are what we got going by the end of this looks pretty cool. It looks at least interesting to my eye. Um, again, like I said, I didn't want it just to be a straight grid. I wanted to have some angles and some different things going on. Uh, I think once it's all filled in, it'll really make a difference too. But, you know, who knows how long it'll be until we get there, especially if I'm doing it neighbor by, neighborhood by neighborhood. We'll see if that continues. But for right now, I'm enjoying it, doing it neighborhood by neighborhood, and I think it's working out pretty good. So there's that long-term parking lot I was talking about, just popping that in there. That way people can, uh, you know, if they have to drive down to the airport, once we actually have the airport put in, you know, maybe they take the bus to the airport, who knows? Right now I have bus lines going to that little small city that we made and one going to the town or the town with the brewery in it. So I think it looks pretty good. And then I did try to fence in this long term parking. Uh, that was a mistake. I left it in uh, just to show you guys that mistakes are OK, but it does not look good. That's gross. I hate it. So I ended up deleting all of that and just leaving it as a base parking lot, um, you know, long-term parking it doesn't need to be secure but 
I wanted it to be and then it just really really wasn't the look I wanted plus with these um, parking lots for some reason it always makes the props kind of float right above them you can't really get them to touch the ground so it was just a loss all around it was just a loss so we took that all out and uh, you know added in a little bit more green space a little bit more trees maybe a few too many trees so I go ahead and uh, delete them a little bit give them a haircut and just add in that underground or undergrowth and I think the undergrowth is really important in this kind of arid climate. I think it just adds a lot to, um, you know, what you're doing with landscaping because you can't use as many trees. I actually asked $2.20 on YouTube, like what he does, because Marble Mountain is also in California. And uh, he said, you know, just a lot of, a lot of small shrubbery with some trees in like the valleys and stuff. So I'm definitely trying to, to kill my tree habit. I think I'm getting better. I'm definitely a lot better than I was you know, 10 episodes ago. So small victories. And finally, just adding a little bit more to these little neighborhoods. And then we are gonna do another jump um, just because I had to log off and get some different assets to finish out the build. But I think the last little bit of detail that we add in these last couple of minutes really makes all the difference between this space being okay and this space being really cool. So um, we're gonna jump to that in just a second. I'm just adding in the concrete preemptively to some of those little neighborhoods once they're built out. I'll want that. And then I forgot to put the shrubs on the other side, so I didn't want the city council to be mad at me, so I went and popped them in too. And then just trying to fix these parking lots so cars don't clip into the sidewalks and stuff. Uh, but here's that jump that I was talking about. So we're going to have some new assets to play with here. We're going to start out with a new uh, little train station. So I really like this one. It's like just the inner city train station. I do a little road just connecting into it. I wanted it to be back away from the main road just a tad. There is a metro system that runs through this too. So once we actually build out the metro, we'll be able to pop that in too, which will be nice. And add just, again, a little bit more to the public transport aspect. Um, but I really like this asset. I think it's a really good looking one. Uh, I like that you can scroll into it and see the actual station at work as well. Um, and I think these parking lots actually ended up the way they were placed. I wasn't planning to put them on the sides like that, but I actually really enjoy the way it looks. Um, and then just going to put, again, some more green space just to kind of keep it away from the road, have it you know a little more separated. Again, I think it ended up looking really good. Like I said, these assets that we put in this last couple minutes, I think, make the difference for this space. And, uh, you know, just make that detail level kind of go from 10 to 11. So that's the thing, you know, a uh, big detailing tip, at least from me, is do your do your workshop research. You know, go in, find some stuff that really fits your motif, and it can make all the difference. Like, I wasn't feeling that great about this build when I logged off and I had... Uh, not put this stuff in but then once I got these assets and came through and popped them in I think it really tied everything together and made it look a lot better I think definitely at the end here you're gonna see me put in my little bus lot I think that makes the bus station so much more detailed and um, I just like this asset as far as a train station so much more than the vanilla asset uh, the vanilla asset just isn't isn't my cup of tea isn't my style so uh, here we're gonna pop in that bus lot. I had to play around with the fence a little bit to get it to be at least somewhat realistic as far as spacing goes. It's still not great, but we can at least fit some buses in there and have uh, them go ahead. But you'll see when I, I don't keep the fence the way it is right now and I realize how big these buses are compared to the fence and I was like, ooh, not good. So we go ahead and delete it, make it a little bit bigger and uh, just add some space and I do add some like oil spots and stuff under the buses where they're parked just to add a little more realism and obviously having it gated in so you know they're protecting their buses they don't want people to break in and, and grab them or do anything so usually where buses are parked there there is some gates and stuff I probably could add some like CCTV cameras and stuff as well so maybe I'll go back through and do that um, but that is just going to about do it for the time lapse of this build, guys. So we're going to jump into a little live play just to go over everything in some detail. And then, of course, those cinematics. But I'll let the music play out. See you on the other side. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's build. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it turned out pretty good. I like the, the bus stop, the public transport action we finally got going on. It's actually already improved our traffic by quite a few uh, percentage points, so that's good. So let's just take a look what we got here today. So, of course, we did build out a little bit of the 
road network for the actual city. I think it's going to look interesting once it's all said and done, once we kind of continue that pattern on through and have some fun with it. But we did start at least we have one neighborhood. <laughs> so we have people that actually live here. So that's good. The bus stops looking great. I love this asset. I've had this asset for a long time and it's a lot of fun. I love being able to see, uh, you know, people waiting at the stops and coming in and out. That looks claustrophobic. And then we got the parking for the actual buses with the warehouses kind of doubling as like maintenance bays or whatever. I think that looks good. It's kind of funny seeing like the really pristine nice buses though versus the really rundown warehouses. But hey, you know, it looks all right. And then of course we got our train station finally. Let's see if we can actually see inside it a little bit. Yeah, look at that, it's fun time. So we got that going on as well for some public transport slash tourism because people are gonna wanna visit the stadium over here. But all in all, I think it's a pretty good little neighborhood. It's a great start to our, our city. Let me know what you guys think down below. And if you enjoyed the episode, definitely leave a like. And if you wanna see some more city skyline, some more detailed builds, definitely uh, consider subscribing to my channel. I usually post about three or four videos a week. But that's going to do it for today, guys. We're going to jump into some cinematics. I'll see you next time. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed that episode and that build. If you did, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. I really appreciate that. And if you're new to my channel, check it out. We have a lot of detailed city skylines, builds, and things like that. Consider subscribing, but I hope everyone's having a great week, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.